What is up everyone and welcome back to Information Overdrive. In the channel, one the total related about cars and bikes. So, if you are cars and bikes, if you are like interested in the channel, subscribe and like the video. Like. So, in the video, we will talk about how a disc brake works. So, let's get straight to the video. So, if you are working on the disc brake, we will talk about how many parts are in First, brake lever. Second, master cylinder. Third, master cylinder piston. Fourth, brake fluid. Fifth, hose pipe. Sixth, and the calipers. Seventh, caliper piston. Eighth, rotors. And the last is brake pads. In the rotor, we will the original disc by code disc. We will apply the brake apply. So, now, we are working in a disc brake. So, if you disc brake is working, one important point is that the disc brake is the end brake pad. One on the inside of the caliper, one on the outside of the caliper. So, if suppose our bike is in moving condition, then we will apply the brake. Apply so, if we apply the brake, we will move the push rod and move the piston. Now, the master cylinder is reservoir brake fluid. It will pressurize the piston. Now, the pressurized fluid is in the brake hose pipe and go to the caliper. Now, what happens is the pressurized fluid is in the caliper piston. In the caliper piston, what do you do? Inside the brake pad, push the rotor kit. So, if the disc pad touches the rotor kit, what happens is the friction creates. The friction creates the braking start. As soon as the inside the brake pad touches the rotor kit, what happens is the brake fluid is applied to the brake fluid. And the brake fluid is applied to the brake fluid and the brake fluid is applied to the caliper. What do you do with the caliper? The brake fluid is applied to the external brake pad. रोटर में लेटच पानी इन्हों आदिम में फ्रिक्शन क्रिएट पानी बाइक वंदे स्टॉप पोजीशन कोण्डो आरती दिदा इधर बढ़ी नाना कर इपो इधर वंदे अगेन ना सोलो ना ऐप्री ना फर्स्ट ना ब्रेक अप्लाई पन मुझे पुश रोड वंदे पिस्टन ना मूव पनो इन्द पिस्टन ना लंदे प्रेशराइज्ड फ्लुइड वंदे होस पाइप वलिया as soon as the brake pad touches the rotor, the fluid applies to the excess pressure and pulls the caliper to the outside of the brake pad and pulls the caliper to the outside of both sides. This is why the two sides are created and the heat is produced and the bike is in the same stop condition. So, what do we do with the brake? What do we do with the master cylinder piston and the caliper piston? There are two springs. What are the springs? That will go back to the initial position. So, the brakes will be reset for next time use. So, now we will do a disc brake. The advantage of the disc brake is that the braking efficiency is very lightweight. But the disadvantage is that the cost is very low. So, I hope you will be able to work with the disc brake. So, if you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in a new video.